Thanks for checking out Jack Sports first extended highlights video. Now this video I did make it when I was actually going under alias of the football dispenser to go along with my Pez dispenser channel, but I have rebranded to Jack Sports, so apologies at the time you may still see football dispenser flashing up rather than Jack Sports, so apologies about that, but enjoy the match. And of course today marks the first official premiership game in charge for the new Tottenham head coach. Martin Yol. Well, there's no love lost when these two meet. The last four White Hart Lane North London derbies have ended in draws. But Arsenal, these players aren't used to being off the top perch in the Premiership table, but they are for the first time since January. Chelsea are the new Premiership Vieira. And Ledley King lead out the respective sides to a cacophony of noise here at White Hart Lane it's a full house you won't be surprised to hear Spurs lock horns with Arsenal in the first North London derby of the season well Spurs make one change to that starting 11 at Burnley a 3-0 win in midweek in that League Cup Swedish international left back Eric Edman who's been out recently with a serious bout of concussion returns in place of Stephen Kenny uh, Kelly, signings already of the 11 players that new head coach Martin Yol will give first choice to. Simon Davis, Jamie Redknapp, Freddie Canute all started the last Premiership game, but they must make do with a place on the substitutes bench today. As for Arsenal, as expected, Arsene Wenger recalls his entire first choice 11 for this one. He rested them all for that midweek League Cup win over Everton. Four of that side make the bench Van Persie, Flamini, Hoyt and Almunia. Terrific atmosphere as you would expect. Spurs down in 14th place. Arsenal unusually for them sitting in behind Chelsea. But of course first opportunity for Arsenal with a win to go back to the top and put pressure on Mourinho's Chelsea again. Here's Edmund away by Bergkamp to Edmund it's an interesting pass it's Jermaine Defoe chance now Mendes sprawling save in the end by Lehman whose throw out wasn't good and back come Tottenham again Arsenal on the back foot too early for Saul Campbell to make his return to the Arsenal side with a calf injury and understand he's recovered from that now but really uh, short of match fitness at the moment For so long of course Campbell played in the white of Tottenham now Ziegler has got away from Lauren and across came Toure with a very well timed tackle but again we see the youthful promise of Reto Ziegler As Paul Wall said on the 18 came from Grasshopper Zurich Ziegler Swiss under 21 international Great play by Vieira though, rode the challenge of Michael Brown, rode another challenge and then just looked to, to slip that ball into the inside left channel. But as you say, Ledley King read it a little bit better than they are. Looking to do that now, but lost out rather cheaply there, Arsenal. This is Pedro Mendes, Keane wants the pass played early. Mendes tried to provide it, but not in the area Keane wanted. Oh, I mean, I can relate to Robbie Keane exactly what he was uh, feeling there because there was a very small window of opportunity where Mendes could slide that ball into him and he delayed it two or three seconds and it just closed up and uh, that infuriated Robbie Keane who knew the chance was there but was gone. Robert Perez, who's been struggling with a kidney infection which has uh, rather blighted his uh, season so far and he's had a bit of a run-in with Raymond Dominic, the... French national team coach to such an extent that Perez has been left out of the French squad for the forthcoming friendly against Poland. Carrick. It's misjudged by Siegel. This is Defoe. Keen in the middle. 
And the ball took a couple of ricochets, first off the goalkeeper, then an Arsenal defender. Yeah, great play by Defoe, and it's gone there, just getting the wrong side of it, should never allow him to do that. I thought he hit it too hard, but it was a very narrow little alleyway where he had to feed the ball into. Ziegler's corner. Back out to Roto Ziegler again. This is Carrick. Feeling for offside. And the flag was against Nuruddin Nebet. And there you see Carrick just helping it in. Both players really know they're offside. Nebet actually. Ziegler. Turn under pressure by Keane, who wants to return here. Mendes is wide. Brown just felt the challenge coming from Jan Fabregas. Going down, I think here you see uh, Fabregas did come into him and uh, Ziegler taking charge of this free kick. Calls for Carrick. Touch of the ball. Key. Edmund. We just saw Jens Lehmann edging a yard or two off his line, and Eric Edmund went for a, a spectacular. Justin Hoyt, one of the Arsenal youngsters who. Cole. There's Henri. Ashley Cole have made a clever run, beautifully found by Henri as well. And the flag is up. That's a pity because it was a good move. Yes, yeah, great ball. Clean bearing down on him. If your allegiances are with uh, Tottenham today. Very happy with the start, but now Reyes finding a little bit of room almost for the first time. Stretching was Edmund to get the ball out of harm's way. Dennis Bergkamp thought he might have an opportunity. Not restricted to so little thus far. Here's Bergkamp. news for Arsenal fans is that Dennis Bergkamp says he's got uh, more years to come, feels very fit mentally and uh, physically at the moment. Lauren. Oh, good first hand ball from Henri, this is Freddie Longberg. Now Reyes. header to clear the penalty area. Maybe it presumably will. Michael Carrick to take the Tottenham free kick. Nabet and King forward again. Oh, and almost a free header there for Keane. Arsenal hadn't covered the run. And an inch, two inches at the most lower, and that was 1-0. Well, 35 minutes have flown by here, as they tend to do, and rivalry is at its fiercest. And it certainly is between these two. Arsenal have been laughing in the face of Spurs these last few years. But Ziegler has got a free kick, it's gone against Lauren. Not to similar position from the one where Robbie Keane had that chance a moment or two back. Carrick again to take. Oh, and it's going to fall here. Chance goal. Tottenham. It's Nuridi Nebet. The Moroccan scores his first goal for Tottenham. And what a game in which to get it. Well, I have to say, it's, it is against the run of play because Arsenal just started to dominate the possession. Here you see Michael Carrick delivers the ball in. It's a shallow cross. I think it was Torre tries to win it in front of Ledley King. 
and it flies all the way to Nabet at the back post, who takes it on his chest, nice and calm, lets the ball drop and finishes with a left foot, left foot strike. Desperate Arsenal defenders flying across the face of the ball, trying to block it. There you see Martin Yole, who's one delighted man, along with all the fo Tottenham faithful. It's confirmation of Nabet's yellow. So you're not allowed to leave the pitch either now. Presumably no. not. No. I don't think he, he took his shirt off. No, he didn't, no. did he? No. No. Arsenal have got another free kick to defend here. Driven in dangerously. Oh, fabulous save by Lehman. He had to react. And he a bit of his hide here, Jens Lehman. Well, that's a great delivery in, two players converging on Jermaine Defoe, he just managed to get that little flick on, the pace was on the ball, looked like it was going to loop over Jens Lehmann, just gets his fingertips onto it. He nearly was, it might still be from this corner, it's Keane working it short with Ziegler. Away by Toure. Brown. <laughs> Keane was through there, the ball had beaten the outstretched foot of Lauren. It's calmly done by Ashley Cole. <laughs> Clever pass. Mendes timed his run well. Excellent from Spurs again. And it needed a stretching header clear from Colo Toure. At White Hart Lane. He's really buzzing at the moment with this terrific Spurs performance. Beginning to take the game to Arsenal again. Pascal Sigon. Clever through the legs there from Reyes. And Bradley King just partially uh, holding up Thierry Henry. Support from Camaro. Fabregas. Provided here by Lauren. Somewhat unnecessary challenge there from Reto Ziegler, and the youngster has been booked. He's had a good first yeah, touch there, and uh, just maybe showed him a little bit too much of a ball. Thierry yeah, Henry with the Arsenal free kick. Ziegler. Oh, he's got an eye for a pass, this boy. Yeah. Jermaine Defoe flagged offside. Yeah. Good running here from Reyes. Now Defoe. Ashley Cole just getting back to supply some cover there for Sigon, who wouldn't like to get exposed in those areas against Jermaine Defoe. Yeah, I think when Defoe gets him one for one, he's certainly got the beating of him. But, uh, just managed to hold him up for long enough to, to get a bit of help on board. A minute to be added on at the end of a frantic first half, and here's Henri. Brilliant control, Thierry Henri. Does what he does best. The Premiership's leading goal scorer gets his 11th of this campaign. And Arsenal out of nothing so typical of them are on terms well the one thing you can't legislate for is brilliance and this is brilliant Villaran picks out there makes a little running behind oh, it's touch and go whether it's offside or not but the way he brings it down and regains his composure and a little cool side foot finish I mean, that is very difficult skill to do and he's made it look quite easy and great finish and that's a real blow for Tottenham well, already you begin to wonder psychologically what that late, late first half goal from Thierry Henry will do to the ultimate outcome of this match. Interesting to see as well how the Spurs had a claim that Henry was offside. But it counts, Nabet and Henry, the first half goal scorers in this North London derby, which at the break at White Hart Lane is level. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Arsenal 1.
Neither side has made any substitutions for the second half. To the run, try to feed Reyes. Toure. Burkamp left that for uh, Lundberg. Oh. oh, and it's going to fall here for Reyes! Straight and a grateful Paul Robinson. Arsene Wenger can't believe it. They won't get too many better opportunities than this in the Premiership this season. Jose Antonio Reyes. Yeah, there you see Ledley King making an unusual mistake for him. What a pace this second half has been played out in the opening four and a half minutes here at Burkham. problems in the end for Paul Robinson but there was a spare man in Lauren beyond that far post for Arsenal here's Mendes good cross <laughs> very well defended by Lauren sort of crossing though that Keenan Defoe are very likely to feed off if Spurs can continue that sort of quality Excellent play by Pamaro. He looks a pretty solid performer at right back for Tottenham. Noe Pamaro. This is stolen by Vieira. And now it opens out for Dennis Bergkamp. Vieira's made his run into the penalty area. Checked by King. You can't take your eye off it for a moment. Nice popping and fizzing everywhere now. Bergkamp. Should have been an easy take for Paul Robinson, presumably. No call and sought to take charge. Yeah, I mean, Ledley King would have seen Paul Robinson. Perez decides to play it in long. Sigon got there ahead of Pamaro, but albeit at stretch. Yeah, Sigon there just gets into a great position. I think the ball's just on the rise on the bounce as he makes contact and that means the ball's always going to just be going up in the air now Cole Reyes lots of Arsenal possession free kick given by Steve Bennett Pomero suggesting that Reyes was looking to take the easy dive impressed with the way he kept up with Thierry Henry just a few minutes earlier Henry's free kick and no sting in the header from Lundberg. Oh, and uh, Robinson's lost oh. that. Goodness me. Just ran into his own man, Ledley King, Paul Robinson. This is Lundberg. Gets away from Pamaro. Penalty. And it all stemmed from the horrible error from Paul Robinson. His side were immediately on the back foot, and Pamaro has conceded a penalty. Great strength from Freddie Lundberg, I've got to say. I just praising Pamro, saying how strong he was, but he got around him, got in front of him, and Pamro could only bring him down. Certainly, my first reaction was it was a stonewall penalty. And it's not Thierry Henry, it's Lauren. Now, that has raised a few eyebrows around White Hart Lane. Can the Cameroonian hold his nerve? He can. And the champions have come from behind to lead in the North London derby. It's Lauren from the penalty spot. I mean, I'm just, oh, it's amazing there you see it. Paul Robinson's got one hand in the ball. And he's sort of running to Ledley King. The ball pops out. Arsenal gain possession. There you see it slid into Lundberg. Shows great strength here, I've got to say, to hold off Pamaro. And he just does enough, clips his heels, pulls him down. And here's Lauren, nice and coolly, just slotting it in. That's a disaster for Tottenham, I've got to say. Here come Tottenham looking for an immediate reply. Oh, and the shot had Lehman scrambling at his near post, deflected shot from Jermaine Defoe, corner. Himself as he cuts inside, gets the shot off, I think it took a deflection, just took it into the side netting. Robbie Keane 
will take the Spurs corner poorly. Turned away by Dennis Bergkamp. This is Mendes. Game in which Lundberg and Keown were sent off, I recall, for Arsenal. It was five years ago. Spurs led in this match, but now they're 2-1 down, and Michael Brown has been penalised, and uh, to add insult to injury, he's going to get a yellow card. He claimed he got the ball. Robbie Keane is pleading on behalf of his teammate, but Steve Bennett feels it's a yellow card offence. Yeah, there you see the error. Well, that's it. the trailing leg comes through. And... Pamaro. Brown carried out of it. This is Burke Camp and Moody Nebet needed to intercept that. Lundberg was on his way. Oh, and Vieira is through the Spurs defence. Patrick Vieira! Arsenal in the comfort zone. The skipper. 3-1, they now lead Tottenham. And surely that's going to be enough. Well, uh, talk about shoot yourself in the foot. Great reading of the game and cuts it out. And here you see him coming out with the ball. The ball runs away from him. Vieira picks it up. Gets a little bit of luck with the bounce of the ball, but he's through there. Draws Paul Robinson as he goes to ground. Just lifts it over him nice and calmly. Here you see there's Carrot, King, Nabit all out the game. And he sticks at him with all the confidence in the world. Just as Paul Robinson goes to ground, lifts it up over it. A side foot finish. And there you can see the delight. An ecstasy on Patrick Vieira's face and Arsene Wenger. That face of Arsene Wenger was looking very concerned after Nuruddin Nebet put Tottenham in front, but now his error has led to Vieira make it 3-1 after an hour of the North London derby. Defoe, have a little turn from Jermaine Defoe, can he go all the way? Oh, oh he can! What that is finish. absolutely <laughs> sensational from Jermaine Defoe! What a reply from Tottenham! And one of the goal of the season contenders without any doubt. And as it comes into him tightly, great feet, quick feet, drives in, straight through and he strikes it brilliantly well and layman's got absolutely no chance can't even get anywhere near it hasn't even bothered moving for it it's that great a strike this is a great angle to see it is it through the bottom upper part of the ball and it's just dipped and sweetly gone into the side netting well what a match we've got on here Reyes has bought himself and his side a little time here. But Jermaine Defoe, what a wonderful instinctive finisher he is. I think Tottenham needed to do that quickly like they did, Kevin, just to give them a chance, you know, to really give themselves a realistic chance of getting back in this game. And let's give them a massive lift. Reyes spent more uh, time on the ground than on his feet in the last few minutes and Michael Brown will need to be very careful yeah, you can see Steve Bennett just telling him to calm down he's in the book doesn't want to let his teammates down by getting sent off the pitch Robert Perez and he's going to come on for Jose Antonio Reyes be, uh, presumably a straight swap down the left hand side and uh, Simon Davis as you can see on the right of your screen is ready to come on to for Tottenham with a quarter of the match remaining <laughs> here is searching for his Best form after his uh, kidney infection, which has uh, caused a few problems for him this season. Body language of Mendes suggested he wasn't too happy to make way for Simon Davis. Now 
Dennis Bergkamp. Pires with Bergkamp. Promising perhaps for Arsenal. It's under the reach of Robert Pires. It's won back quickly again by Fabregas. Clever pass. Lundberg! Arsenal score again. Freddy Lundberg. But Cesc Fabregas, the young, talented Spaniard, had a big part to play in that, and Freddy Lundberg has made it 4-2 Arsenal. Well, unbelievable the way that unfolded. Okay, tried to thread a little ball through, got cut out, then they won the ball back. Fabregas picks the ball up. And it looks like there's nothing on, and all of a sudden he reverses a great little pass. He's certainly onside, Lundberg. Shows all the composure that's required, and slots it under Paul Robinson. And just give Nasser a bit more breathing space. But that wonderful Jermaine Defoe goal. But they're back in pole position. Outstanding vision from young Fabregas, adding to his already burgeoning reputation. And that's why they're champions. They can score goals out of nothing, Arsenal. Do it again. <laughs> Bergkamp completely sold uh, Brown there. This is Pires. That is unbelievable skill. I'll tell you why. It's because Brown was going for the little layoff and he just put a bit of backspin on it, let it roll between his legs and turn. And that's sheer quality. Taking a tumble. They'll be looking to get pretty much a front three as they have to now. Spurs. Maybe forward and King for the free kick and a goal! Ledley King! <laughs> and this astonishing match takes yet another twist. And it's 4 3. Yeah, I mean, it's a great delivery in, and he just, well, he gets a little bit lucky because it's right in the middle of a cluster of red shirts. But he uses his physical presence, fights for it, gets that touch, and the pace is on the cross, which allows him just to get that head on it, and that just drifts be beyond Jens Lehmann. There you see, look, three shirts all around him. He just manages to get that touch. That makes it 4-3, and it's game on again. Quite an incredible afternoon at White Hart Lane. And we've still got 16 minutes plus stoppage time remaining. Hold on to your hats, there's more to come. Oh, and uh, stolen here by Tottenham. It's going to fall for Defoe. It was half a chance for Jermaine Defoe. Perez. Vieira and Sigon look to add their height into that Spurs penalty area. Paul Robinson getting a hand to that. I think it was travelling wide. Sure what was happening at his far post. Yeah, good delivery in. And you're always worried as a goalkeeper. And you've got to react. And then if you go for the reaction touch and it doesn't happen, you can always drift in your far post. But he had that one covered and uh, makes the save. Freddy Canute for Michael Brown. usual 100% Michael Brown and now an extra striking threat in Freddy Canute but his first action is to get back inside his own penalty area to help out defensively as Henri prepares to take the corner Sigon left it it's Perez but he had time well I think I know it looks like he's got time but I think by the time he has a touch he would have got closed down so in his mind he's telling himself he's got to take it on there you see the Ledley King goal I'll venture to say it's the game of the season so far in the Premiership full credit to Tottenham for showing immense character Ziegler Edmund. Keane. Oh. Away by Defoe, but it's falling here for Carrick. He's normally a very clean 
second strike of the ball, Michael Carrick. He'd be disappointed with that. He presented itself to foe. You can see four or five players converge on him. A sloppy ball out, defence by Lauren. This match has had every ingredient that makes the Barclays English Premiership the product that it is. Arsenal preparing to bring further fresh legs to the cause. Robin Van Persie is about to come on for Dennis Bergkamp. But this is Freddie Lundberg looking for Henri. Brilliant tackle from Edmund. Still Henri. Pires has got the shooting oh. chance and he scores. Robert Pires. And yet another twist to this incredible chapter of North London derby history. Arsenal are two goals to the good. Well, it's unbelievable. Lundberg comes in there and knocks a great little ball. I think Henri's first touch was excellent, but a great come across from Edmund to get the block. And I thought the Pires had missed the opportunity. Once he cut inside, I thought he's lost it. Then he drags it again. This is where I thought he'd lost it. But great feet. Just gets a yard on Pamero. And he's can. Tottenham drag themselves back from a two-goal deficit three times now in this match they've been two goals down head coach Martin Yoll that's one he'll never forget Perez stealing a somewhat sloppy pass Spurs have been the architects of their own downfall at times in this match Van Persie by the way amidst all these celebrations of the fifth Arsenal goal is on for Bergkamp Nice skill from Lundberg. <laughs> Suffice to say that I don't think life's going to be too dull at White Hart Lane this season, one way or another. Sloppy from Henri. Ziegler. And Canute! again Ziegler showing his eye for a pass well, very unlike Thierry Henry it's a great little chip he's in space Henry's tried to make up the ground after giving the ball away there you see a great little stand up chip from Edmund Canute comes on to it and a great side foot finish and what an interesting end to this game well they're going to be replaying replaying and replaying again this match for a long time to come so many emotions on and off the field in this remarkable match. Arsenal, a little bit of trouble again by Ashley Cole at the back. And it's thumped away, no nonsense fashion by Polo Toure. Anthony Gardner is going to get on for the final few seconds now. Edmund was penalised for the challenge on uh, Van Persie. Holding the injured area. Oh. <laughs> Say no more about that one. Well, they do tend to hurt. <laughs> and here's Gardner. It's Robbie Keane who's coming off. Welcome to the Premiership. Martin Yol. Here we go. Paul Robinson. We're into the last 40 seconds. Can Spurs forge a memorable equaliser here? Sigon headed down. It's going to break again for Spurs. Perez wasn't the header he meant. And the shot whistles wide from Simon Davis. And is that? Spurs last opportunity. Break the ball falls for you. Someone gets a strike on it. Fell for Simon, Simon Davis. Four minutes of stoppage time is up. And Spurs are back on top of the Premiership in incredible fashion. Handshakes all round. But this will be a game that will live in the memory for a long, 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 long time to come. Martin Yol's first official a game in charge as head coach of Tottenham.
few of these players who've been around the block a few times will have played in a game as quite as incredible as this one Arsenal top of the Premiership at least for now unbelievable game nine goals and Arsenal come out on top by five goals to four like, uh, to winning happens uh, in a very difficult derby where traditionally we don't uh, win and uh, and uh, when it was 5-4 I had my uh, last season uh, scenario in my head because they equalised in the last minute. This was uh, a matter of uh, making errors, big errors, and, uh, and lose a game after scoring four goals. But I, th I thought uh, until the 17th uh, minute, we gave them a very good game and I was happy about that, but I have some mixed feelings about the result. Usually derbies are nil-nil or completely crazy. Today was a completely crazy one.